Hello everyone. In this INR number 70, we are going to discuss about infantile spasm or West syndrome. Right, another important uh, PYQ based topic. So infantile spasm is also known as West syndrome. So what will happen in this? This is a seizure disorder where patient will be less than one year old infants. So usually they are less than one year old infant. And what will be their presentation? The jack knife spasm or salam spells will be there. So what is that meaning? That means that there will be a sudden drooping of the head. So you can see there is a sudden drooping of the head and flexion of the arms. So you can see flexion of the arms, a sudden drooping of the head. That is why it's like looks like a salam, right? So that is why it is called as salam spells or jackknife spasm, right? In this patient will be having global developmental delay and uh, diagnosis can be done by EEG by seeing the hips arrhythmia right so what is hips arrhythmia you can see here hips arrhythmia these are randomly appearing high amplitude waves and spikes right so you can see the randomly appearing high altitude waves we are seeing which is showing lot of spikes also in between so that is why these are all random chaotic so that is why we are calling them hips arrhythmia and that is diagnostic of infantile spasm so this is the question which examiner asked right it, that hips arrhythmia on eeg is a feature of infantile spasm or west syndrome or they will give you this thing and then they will be asking you what will be the treatment right so now we as i have said diagnosis eeg will be showing you hips arrhythmia or clinically they may be associated with tuberous sclerosis finding also right so treatment what should be the treatment so drug of choice will be you have to give injection ACTH right that was the question in our exam so they had given hips arrhythmia in a patient and they had asked what will be the drug of choice so that will be the ACTH right and if these patients as I said they are having association with tuberous sclerosis so if we are seeing a patient of infantile spasm with tuberous sclerosis that time drug of choice will be Viga Betrin right so now I understand overall drug of choice is ACTH and in case of infantile spasm with the tuberous sclerosis you have to give Viga Betrin right so keep revising these topics this can be your future question in the NEET PG and FMG both exam best wishes to all